Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer. I'm KP83. And right now we decided we were going to play. Yes. Um, we are going to play with some kinetic sand, or build kinetic sand, however they want to do it. Um, it is the bakery boutique mm -hmm. where you can use the box as part of your playset. Ooh. Kinetic sand is awesome. I like it a lot. <laughs> when we open it up, you can see we have a backdrop. It's going to be our bakery. We have pink sand and blue sand and little pieces to do things. Oh, you're going to actually boxes? involve putting together boxes. Those are and, just boxes, though. And decorations? Yeah. Maybe? Let's see what they are. First, we need to put. Oh, that's the. This is the. You need oh, to put that in. in. How does that go in, though? Like this. Oh, it goes in the top of the box? Place the open sandbox on the solid flat surface. Insert the display case seam tab into the slots on the sandbox. Okay, right, let's see. Well, that would be a little bit hard. Yeah, I would like bend the cardboard. No, that can't be. Oh, I know. I bet you. No. No, they expect you to like bend the cardboard. Hmm, let's figure this out first. I'm going to leave the sign off. We know there's a sign that goes there. Mm -hmm. uh. So, as far as setup and the box, uh, parental guidance may be necessary. Parental help. <laughs> and for little things like this, you might want to tape. Yeah, just tape the edges and you're good. So this is just supposed to be... The table. Oh. But it's not going to stay well oh. without tape. So you need tape. Okay. So let's put this away and let's see what we have. Stand here. One of the things is if you want to make different color sand, you can mix the blue and the pink together and you're going to get different hues for your cakes. Ooh. Yeah. But then what do you do when you want them yeah, to be separated you want again? again? Then you're, you just have a... I, I envision everybody having a <laughs> whole mixed up version of blue and pink and that's your only <laughs> color. So I would probably just buy a different color sand and just use it in the set. Um, as usual, this is kinetic sand. When you're done with it, you need to put it in a bag or a container that it won't get a lot of air because you can reuse this all the time. Um, okay. Blue, we have molds. What kind of fun molds do we have? We have, um, this might be like a cup cake. A cake. So this is like little, I don't even know how to describe that one. What do we have? I don't know. So, this looks like your basic cake. Mm -hmm. This is your cupcake mold. Da -da -da -da. This is your plate. This is more like a fancy, festive wedding like cake jello mold. Or oh, this jello one's mold. really interesting, this cupcake. cupcake this is, is a cool. cupcake mold. Um, and we have this, which has like hearts and strawberries. So, and little candles, extras to put on there. Rosettes. And this is the extruder, I believe. Yeah, this is the extruder press. I've never so you used fill that. the extruder with kinetic sand. Oh, well, okay, let's try that. Um, we need a cake first, though. Yes, first we need a cake. How do you do it? Okay, so this says fill the extruder with kinetic sand, hold the extruder against a flat surface, and press the plunger to force the sand out. Decorate other sand bakery goods. Oh, okay, so you're just doing it in here. And then pressing. And then, when, well, we need a cake, though. It would help to have a cake. 
Um, You're in charge of making it. Okay, cake. how am I making a cake? So I'm putting it in there. You have a mold. Okay. Okay, so I'll put a heart and then flatten it. Should have just taken out my other kinetic sand. Yeah. Alright, so how can we show this? We can show it on the plate. So if you put your sand in your extruder and then you put it on this little plate and you pop it out, you have a little heart. And that little heart, it could be a cookie or it could be something that goes on your uh, cake. So... Okay, so we got that. And then what we can do, we can put a heart. That doesn't seem like right though. I guess if you press it, it stays. Oh, it's yeah, cute. It it's cake. cute. It's a cake. And then, but it, you didn't get all the fancy ribbons on it. Oh, I must not have packed it enough. So then if yeah. we can go ahead and just pack. Pack this again. Let's Let's see. It pretty. I'm gonna make a pink cake. Think of it for Easter. Yeah. Um, it's I, fun. I liked playing with clay sets when I was little, so the sand actually is kind of cool too, though. Um, they do always tell you a warning, remember to wash your hands after you play with the kinetic sand. Um, you want to keep it stored well. Mm -hmm. And what else about the sand? Um, well, what's nice is that it all comes out of the mold, so like, there's not like bits of it stuck in the mold. Unlike sometimes when you do Play-Doh right. and half of it's stuck there. Let's see if we can get this one off though. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, my ridges don't really show on it, but it's okay. Um, let's see if we can... I'm going to okay. take some blue and okay. I'm going to take some pink. And I'll make something in here. And I'm going to see if we get a different color. And then it's going to stay like that forever. Because <laughs> you can't it separate any, it. Does it say anything about the mixing? Um, There's like four different shades of the between the pink and the blue that you're supposed to be able to get. Does it just say to work it in, work it in? No, it doesn't say anything specific about no, mixing. No, how does it not tell you that? But when we get to the oh. cupcake one... That was Babble Baby from Madame Alexander who is talking occasionally throughout and letting her talk. Um, kinetic, sand is play, um, kinetic sand is made by Spin Master. Okay, so I'm rolling this in a ball and you see it's getting a marbled effect. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming that if I keep doing it and keep doing it, it's going to be a different There's shade. There's some purple in there now. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, purple. yeah. Ken, is that weird? That's super weird. How big. do you get purple <laughs> out of sand? By mixing sand. Okay, so you know, keep molding it around and then you can have different color on there. That's really kind of cool. I like that. So, um, interesting thing with the cupcake. If you want your cupcake to be swirled, apparently you could just fill uh, this half with, uh, so you'll do your base as whatever you want, but the top portion, you can do different colors on each side, and then once you un once you take it out of the mold, you can just twist the, like, the decorative portion here, and it should swirl. Do it! Alright, let me do just push it. this out first. Um, oops, I did it wrong. There we go. Let's do this. So I'm going to make a circle first with this circle extruder that came. The only thing is, though, that if you're going to, if you're putting them in the mold, you really have to put just the right amount. Otherwise, you are going to get a little leverage edge, and it's not yeah. like you have anything to cut that off with because yeah. it is sand. Oh, oh that's cute. Yeah. So I can put a fancy little topping on there. And then, that. and then you can put it on your shelf of your patisserie. Oh, let's put the other cake on there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're still going to mix this one into purple. I think our, my kinetic sand already that I have is purple. Yes, it is. So that was kind of defeating the purpose. But... <laughs> so All right, let's see this we're cupcake. we see a cupcake. I'm just going to fill this cupcake mold with kinetic sand. Thank you for staying with us. <laughs> <laughs> Playing. If you have kinetic sand at home, join the fun. Playtime, you know. <laughs> um, I do love the feel of kinetic sand, though, I will say that. 
it is it's like therapeutic just like like having stuff in your hands to you know make your worries go away or just to like deal with the stress of life so maybe they can have adult kinetic sand to go with adult coloring books oh totally that's perfect okay let's see what we want this is i'm making a smaller cake i think so press 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 okay that worked out better let's see will it bring that shelf down I guess the more weight of the kinetic sand you have, it will bring this down. And you could always put something on the inside. If you see there's like a, a square there, you could put a weight inside there and that would hold yeah. your, your cake shelves okay. up. So I filled the like muffin portion of the cupcake, the bottom okay. half, without the icing. And uh, with only two colors, this will be a little What will you choose? All right, so I'll do one color here and then maybe I'll oh, take your- that's why you could make purple. Maybe I'll take your purple and we'll It's only it. a small part of purple, but go for it. Okay, build the mold. We're gonna close the door. Close the door. Press. Do, 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 do. It came oh, out that's what they like meant, the swirl? Cake. No, the swirl bit, so you'll see there's two layers. Uh -huh. They say just to do that. Oh, to, to make, make a it swirl. a swirl. Oh. And then you can press down and... Gotcha. It. So it has like a dollop of icing on there. Oh. So what a lovely cupcake. We will add it to the so pizzeria. We'll put it right there, ready for someone to buy it. Oops. You keep dropping things. You have the dropsies. <laughs> All right. Um, so basically, uh, obviously, children are more creative than I, mm -hmm. I am. Uh, so they're going to make a lot cuter little cakes. But uh, it, as QB said, it is something that you could do together also. It would be a yeah. fun mom and dad and child activity and make the little cakes. And uh, it doesn't show any other ones that are, they're coming out with, so I'm not sure what else they have. I, um, I don't know, I guess anything that they used to make clay, uh, mm -hmm. out of clay they probably are making yeah. kinetic sand. <laughs> and um, you can just keep on decorating all your stuff and then just put them back in their plastic containers and clean up is done. Yeah. Because our molds fun. are clean. Yeah, the molds are totally clean. Um, and it's so easy. Like, the extruders are a little small, so if you have very small children, for playing with this, you may want to just keep an eye on the extruders, but everything else is relatively big. And these are little plates to put your masterpieces on, like if you had made a whole bunch of the little rosettes, you could put them on there like they were cookies or little tiny cakes. Yeah. And, oops, see, sliding there too. <laughs> it's the sand, it's the sand. Um, we also on the mold, so we have like the wedding cake mold and like more of like the mud cake kind of mold here on top. There are shapes, so this is actually a diamond, so if you want to make diamond embellishments, you can. This is a circle, so you can make circle embellishments. So it's not just the cakes that you can use this for, but it's also other decorations. Um, so yeah, diamonds and circles are also able to be crafted by just putting sand on the top. And so the rosette's um, really cute. Yeah, so as far as things you have to cut out, you just have these. Um, the bakery patisserie sign was already cut out. You had the little shelves and the little table, and that's it. So once you figure out this part, you're on the home stretch. Yeah. So fun, like nearly zero mess kind of kind mm -hmm. of toy. For Rainy you. day, rainy day thing. Yeah. Uh, what ages are is the kinetic sand? It says it's for ages five and up. Five and up. Unless you're sitting with your child and making sure it does not go in their mouth. Yes. Exactly. So um, that's just something fun to do. Uh, Easter's coming up. Uh, maybe you're looking for something for a basket. Um, and then, you know, maybe you shop way ahead of yourself and you need something for a bigger holiday, a birthday or something. So you might want to buy some kinetic sand. So yep. we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.